Kyle here once again from Velocity Sports Performance in Norwood. This is my buddy Rob, he's going to be helping me out today. Um, this is our progression from our last video, which was the PVC single leg deadlift variation. What we're going to do is the exact same movement, except we're going to add a band to it to try to give some form of resistance without actually externally weighting the athlete. So Rob, I want you to get started. We're going to talk about the setup once it does. The way it's going to work, whatever foot is staying planted on the ground, the band is going underneath that foot and it's going to wrap up and over the opposite shoulder. Whatever shoulder has the band wrapped around it, that's going to be the arm that goes up and holds the top of the PVC pipe and it's going to hold the bottom. We're still looking for our three points of contact at the back of the head, the shoulders, and the tailbone. We're looking for a nice cervical spinal column. We're looking for good core engagement, no break, no flare. And then he's going to perform the exact same movement, still using the bench as a form of resisting the knee, the forward knee drive that we're trying to avoid. And uh, oh, see what Rob's got. We'll kind of play the Just play for play. No. On the whole, not bad. There wasn't a lot of hip opening there. He seems a little tight, but obviously that's something that you can address as a coach in terms of your mobility work. Um, besides that, one thing that you definitely want to coach up and cue with your kids is from the back of the exercise, as they're moving back to the top, you want them to focus on driving their hips forward and through to the wall, as opposed to trying to pull their shoulders up towards the ceiling. What that's going to help avoid is them turning on and using their QLs and their back to do the moving, and it's going to force them to use their glutes to stabilize and also do the work for this exercise. Um, that's it for today.